Hey, I'm Howard and you're watching Chat with Howard and Friends on Big Bo TV. Today we're here at the beautiful Faro's Cafe at TTDI. And here with me, I have the director of Tana Aina. We have one, three, Sharifa, Sabrina. Hi, Pan Sri. Hello, Howard. I know you visit here very often, right? Yes, yes. And just a little bit, when I first, because it's my first time here, and when I first came in, I went to the toilet <laughs> and I didn't want to come up from the toilet. Yes. It's so nice. Yes, you can sleep in the toilet also. <laughs> <laughs> And what we have here uh, on the table, let's go through. So we have here the honey roasted spring chicken. And we have the sauce here, so I'm just going to run down kind of chicken. Yeah, there's the pepper sauce. It's pepper sauce. Pepper, yeah. And there you go. That's the Leo Leo. Okay. Alright, and over here we have the seafood laksa pesto. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, begin. Come, let's, let's. try. So we're going to have a chat with uh, Puan Sri about Life, mm -hmm. yeah, you have a very very colorful life. Mm, very. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we wanna hear um, more of uh, your upbringing. How how were you like as a little girl? You know, with so many things on your plate right now. Mm, yeah. How did all of this came together? Okay. Well, um, I came from broken family. Okay, my mother left me when I was four years old. She migrated to Australia and um, I was brought up by my grandmother. And then uh, she passed away when I was 11 and when I was brought up on my own. Yeah, I have two other siblings, my two brothers. We were separated and um, everything um, It's not easy. It was not easy. I have to go through hard, very hard, very difficult life. But um, I was uh, lucky because I love sports and I love outdoor. Right. So these two that make me what I am today. And oh. uh, yeah, I never touch any cigarette. I never touch drugs. I'm not. In, I'm not. Uh, I don't drink. Right. <laughs> but I love uh, outdoor. I love all this. Uh, you know, um, trekking. Name it. You know mountain climbing and all that so these are the things that you know make me feel confident of myself and um, I'm happy what I'm doing so I always have this dream you know I said if I can afford one day I would like to have a house in the forest next to the river you know or a house next to the to the beach, you know that mm. kind of thing. You know, you know yeah. that, that that kind of dr you know share the, same. the dream. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, and I thank God, you know, I achieve all that. But and um, and I'm very very grateful. Yeah. Mm. The reason why I'm into activists, you know, into environmental issues, and I'm very vocal about it because I see that Malaysia, we are a very blessed country. And I always believe that if you are blessed, right. you must always be thankful. Yeah, you must always uh, be grateful, and um, and you have to give back. Yeah, mm -hmm. because um, I thought I mean I, I I thank God that you know I have ex something extra, but I want to give back to society. So I'm more passionate about um, environment. I'm more passionate about saving our forests right. because we have the most beautiful forests That's in true. the world and the in most the oldest rainforest in the world. It's so majestic our forest. But what I saw when I went for trekking and when I went for my um, um, forest uh, walk and all that, I saw too much of destruction. Mm -hmm. I saw with my own eyes, I saw how much the river uh, was polluted, how the waterfall was uh, disappeared, shrinking. Right. So much of destruction that I said, look, I have to do something. Even though I, I don't have any, um, um, envir I'm not an environmentalist background, you know, I didn't right. study anything about, about environment, but I think this is more common sense. It, it, it doesn't need to be right. a, a rocket science, you know, to know all this, yeah? Mm. So that's how I started. In 2010, I, I told my husband, I said, I bought a piece of jungle, and I told my husband, because my husband, he's a hotelier, he's a developer, I said, can we build an eco-resort where we, I can bring um, 
people come to the resort and appreciate nature and be connected back to mm -hmm. nature. I told him that. And he said, uh, to build a resort right in the middle of jungle, he said, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> but he said, up to you if you want to do it, carry on, he said, you know. So yeah, uh, that's how I started in 2010. Oh, that's nice. So so that's how I started to open uh, to to open this Tana Aina. Right. Uh, I call it Tana Aina because Aina is my nickname, and Tana I want it to be a Malaysian name, you know. Right. Yeah, Malaysian um, name. So that's ta how Tana Aina started in 2010. So um, I started. Um, I bought few pieces of jungle mm -hmm. and um, I put it all under my children's name. So that uh, so Tana Aina Farasraya, Tana Aina Fahana, Tana Aina Farina, all my children's name. Oh, that's very nice. So I have five children and I have all their names on the on all the eco resorts and also restaurant and all that. That's very nice. I'm yeah, very thoughtful of yeah. you. Yeah, something something different. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and I think um, I don't have any background in hospitality management. Right. I never study all this, never. It's just that I learn from mistakes, and also yeah. I learn all this from traveling. You know, and I put whatever the best I can put, and right. I think I I I do it out of passion also because right. I love I love nature, um, and I appreciate Mother Nature, and I think we should be respecting Mother Nature. Fuan Shui, you mentioned something very interesting just now. Uh, you know, how you need to know, sort of know everything and be involved in everything so that whenever someone is not in, you are also uh, someone that can substitute the place, right? Yes. And you are a multi-talented mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. right? So, you help me with this. Mm -hmm. You're a certified patisserie chef, mm -hmm. right? And you're a fitness instructor. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, in terms of business, you own um, Tana Aina, the resorts, mm -hmm. and Tana Aina Cafe, That's right? Mm -hmm. And also, of course, um, Heading Booker, mm -hmm. which is an association that protects the Heritage. Natural heritage. The natural yeah. heritage. Mm -hmm. So, how oh, do you, you know, <laughs> you know, you, I know it's very hard to get your time today to have this mm. chat with us. Mm. But yeah, how do you yeah. I, I, shoulder everything? I, I don't like to waste time. To me, right. time is so precious. Right. You know, whatever time I can have, I would always occupy the time. Yeah. So, well, when I was much younger, I, I used to take a lot of uh, courses. Uh, I'll, I'll take um, fitness uh, instructor, hmm. personal training courses, I'll take even sewing courses, I'll take cooking courses, baking courses, patisserie, whatever courses that I enjoy, you know, uh, I'll keep on uh, learning. So because I believe that one day when I have enough money, I can open the business hmm. and I already have all this uh, experience and, and, and learn about this um, particular whatever that I like. So. As I said, uh, the resort, I didn't have any background but because of passion and, right. um, and confidence and I took the risk so I managed to bring up Tanaina as what it is now and Tanaina already won about uh, 13, 14 um, international awards hmm. and 5 national awards in Malaysia. Yeah, I must say, <laughs> I've been to one of your Tanaina before yeah. and it is a must go. Yeah, it is a must go. Must go. <laughs> So look here, we have well we have cleared our food <laughs> and we have moved on to look, drinks. Yeah. Alright, to look. wash away our palate a little bit. Yeah, look at the coffee. Look at the coffee. Oh, Surprise! Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, look. at the picture. <laughs> I don't well, feel mine, like drinking. I feel mine like... says Faro's Cafe. <laughs> this is where, I, this I want is where to frame this. <laughs> so this is the printed coffee. Yeah, you know. Let, latte art is so last year or mm. so last time. Yeah, now mm. it's printed coffee, trend mm. baru. Yes. Right. So a meal is not completed without, without dessert. dessert. Yes. yes. And I know Fan Shui yeah. love, 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 love dessert. Okay. Name. Right. Yeah. Okay. So with your patisserie chef mode on, please yes. have the dessert. Yes. And let's see if your Chocol face yes. lights up. <laughs> Chocolate and ice cream. 
and cakes are uh, my weaknesses. <laughs> and it sizzles, look, there are smoke yeah, coming out. Yeah. Mm, let's try. Come. Come. Okay. Bye. Enjoy. Let's. So this is the sizzling brownies. Yes. Sizzling with, brownies. With ice cream. What's next for you? Yeah. I think um won't be long where I will have to um, step down because I would like to uh, pass on to the younger people to take over um, in my fight, in my cause. Right. Because I think the younger people are um, getting aware of these right. uh, issues and they are very gung ho, you know. In, <laughs> yeah, I can, you know, I can see some younger generation, younger people, and. Um, I think I would like to now, maybe in maybe in few years. I don't know when. Hope to be soon. I would like to travel more, and mm. I would like to improve more in my um, eco resorts and also my restaurant and my cafe. And um, maybe I'm. I want to stay overseas. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's a surprise. <laughs> Yeah, let the younger people now oh. continue with this fight. Won't yeah. you miss Malaysia though? Of course, Malaysia is the best country. I will always uh, love my country. But uh, sometimes, um, you know, uh, you, when you reach to a certain age, right. you know, you, you want to um, be in peace. Right. You know, so that's where you want to um, move on, maybe to a different country, you mm. know. Maybe Australia, maybe Europe, I don't know. Because um, at this moment, the more I stay in Malaysia, the more I see the destruction, the more heartache I become, so I'm not in peace. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, this, I, I hope that the, right. um, the government can change the policy, government can amend the act. Right. Our act should be amended because it's been a, a very long, outdated act, you know, yeah. especially in forests. But of course, um, the, the dream that I want to see in this country is environment should be prioritized because I've seen that too much of destruction going on. Yeah. Right. You know, tell us your life abroad or wherever you are. Yes. Yeah, I hope to have the next chat with you. So thank you so much yeah. Manchi, for this chat today. And also, oh, I yes. want, yes, one more, that I want to bring Tana Aina overseas. <gasps> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Make Malaysians proud. Yes, yes, means I might open another, uh, another uh, resort overseas. And I'm looking either in Europe or one of the countries that I admire most is Bhutan. Oh. Mm. Oh, so that's Pon Shri telling you to stay tuned, so you better stay tuned. Mm -hmm. So yes, thank you again Pon Shri thank so much you for your so time. Much. Yes. So thank you. And right. thank you to Faro's Cafe for hosting us. Yes, beautiful with food. Beautiful, beautiful mm. food. Must visit. Mm. Alright, and thank you all at home or uh, wherever you are watching this. Feel free to share with us what did you learn from our chat today and we look forward to chatting with you too. So thank you everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.